All right, guys, it is officially time. The equipment is moving. The Patey Aviation Park has begun. We've officially broke ground. I'm really excited. We love to have you. This is the beginning of something special. Thank you for following along. We love you guys. Back to work. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. We are going to build the greatest aviation community here at Spanish Fork that exists. We have an event where the city's so behind us, we did drag racing down the runway, air shows, and all kinds of great events. We had over 10,000 people show up last time. We want to continue growing the greatest aviation community in the country. We want to do an entire airport, clean sheet design on a new side of the runway that is everything about general aviation, specifically to all the flyers like you that watch my channel, places for cubs, grass, we got a park, a place where all pilots want to hang out. So we're doing something unique. A lot of you want something like maybe what I've built here, a place to hang out, maybe a place to shoot some pool, have a fridge, snacks, a resting room, a place to just unwind, do a pre-flight, post-flight, debrief that isn't necessarily in the FPO. We wanted hangers that every single row had its own private entrance, private parking, not needing to wander around to some back area, park in a taxiway, lift up your door and put your car away. We wanted something where you pull up, where your guests pull up. Every single row has a grand entry that that row shares. I have never seen this before. We wanted something different, grand parking, a grand entry, you walk in, you have your own fridge, restrooms, TV, lounge, little bar area, hangout. And then through that entry is a hallway that goes into every hangar. So you can literally park, roll your bag in dry, out of the heat, out of the sun, out of the snow, come in the back door of your hangar and depart so that every single hangar feels like you have your own FBO or place to meet and greet your guests without sharing it with 400 other hangers on the field. We want to make a community aviation business park for the general aviation pilot in the heart of one of the greatest playgrounds on earth. We already have people buying hangers here at the Spanish Fork Patey Aviation Business Park. Guys, call Brad, lock in your hangar. We're running out fast. We still have most sizes, but call Brad. So as you come in, you're gonna pass by all the private parking to every row of hangars. You're gonna come up to a giant aircraft sitting on a pole into a huge community park. And when I say park, I'm talking grass, trees, walkways, maybe some putting greens. It's gonna be a big round circle of grass, a place for everyone to hang out with fellow pilots. As you pass the park, you will now come into the brand new FBO. We want an FBO that's big and grand as if you went into one of the largest airports. You get treated well where you have snacks and drinks, a restaurant on top, a view from the restaurant out to the runway, a place to shoot some pool, play some ping pong, resting room, movie room. We want it to be a place where you just want to come and visit. Or if you're flying in, a place to relax between your legs. You have a park behind you. Beautiful mountain Pinogas views, settings of the great Utah Rocky Mountains. We are building a community of aviators. We just barely did a groundbreaking ceremony. We had this city out and uh, it was a lot of fun. We uh, are excited to have you, excited to announce this Pity Aviation Business Park today. First up to uh, represent Spanish Fork City is the city manager, Seth Perrin. So we'll turn the time over to Seth. Well, thank you. You must know that I am here on behalf of Mayor Mendenhall. He's in Washington, D.C. Uh, actually, uh, among other things that he's doing there, he's talking with the legislature about funding for our airport, trying to uh, ensure that, that a lot of the growth that we're talking about uh, here today can come to pass in, in getting some of the additional federal funds that we need. And you know all too well about all of that. And uh, we have really enjoyed the growth of the Spanish Fork Airport the last 
few years. I've been here for 20 years, and what we've seen around the airport the last five or so years has been amazing. And what we see coming in the next five to 10 years is incredible. And uh, we're so grateful and excited for, for this investment and what will come from the efforts of, of this group. So as I'm, <laughs> as I'm representing Mayor Mendenhall and, and he can say everything best, I'm gonna read just a couple of words that he shared with me. And this really will speak to uh, what is happening here. Industrial and commercial development in Spanish Fork is more than just dollars and cents, more than just decimals and zeros. It's real jobs, real income, for real families. It's the economic engine that makes the rest of our municipality work effectively for its citizens. The expansion of this airport is a game changer for Spanish Fork and all of Utah County. This is pride and progress. And uh, on behalf of the mayor and council, on behalf of this great community, we are so excited. We thank you for your efforts. This has been a great work in progress, a lot of effort, a lot of time, and uh, we stand with you and, and we'll do everything we can to, uh, to help this be a tremendous success. Congratulations. Thank guys. you. Thank you, Seth. Appreciate that. It's been a real opportunity to work with the City of Spanish Fork. All the employees uh, have been great to work with, and we really approach this project as a partnership with the City of Spanish Fork. Next up will be the Public Works Director, Chris Thompson. All right, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. <clears throat> Uh, we have really appreciated the Petey Group and, and working together as partners on this project and we're really excited about it. We feel like it's going to make the airport even greater than it ever has been. I just want to talk about a couple of things about the airport, uh, how great it has been in the past. Uh, it has a, a really fantastic history of starting out with the wood houses. They, had a fire here, they had wind, they've had a lot of different adversities that they had to go through to establish this airport so near the Provo Airport. And then with that, I, I've heard some stories about the crop dusting that's been uh, done out of here and, and amazing pilots have uh, risked their lives to, for the farming community. Then we have what is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, Flying Clubs in the nation is out of this airport. This is the home of Gail Halverson, the candy bomber. We've had so much rich history here at the airport and such a great group of, of pilots and hangar owners that that uh, when they come together, they just, they talk about how do we get things done? And and, and this is a great example of that. And, and that's really what uh, the city is all about, is helping, partnering, and, and getting things done to make this the, the best airport that it can be. So thank you. Thanks, Chris. So now I'm gonna turn it over to Mike Patey. Mike and Mark are legends. If you don't know anything about private aviation, just Google Mike and Mark Patey. These guys are legends. They're in a number of Hall of Fames. They've won races, they've built parts, they've, they've patented many parts for planes, just done so much for the private aviation world and so it's an honor to know Mike and Mark and and the t other partners Grant and Ryan that Mark, Mike's going to introduce at this time so turn the time over to Mike here. All right so we've got Ryan and Grant both partners in this development without these guys this wouldn't be happening this is a huge huge project it's a roughly 60 million dollar project expanding to well over a hundred plus million and continuing in very short amount of time and uh, these two guys are experts in their field in their business and to partner up with them bring our minds together um, the culmination of the design the park in the middle uh, the services, the restaurant, all the things that you are going to see in the Payday Aviation Business Park is the culmination of the three of us getting together in the middle of the night, weekends, working hard. So I hope you like what we come up with because I couldn't have done it without these guys. So thanks to my partners. I appreciate you guys. This is about making sure we build the Spanish Fort community. It's called the Aviation Business Park because we want to bring businesses to the valley. We want to bring jobs, community, service, all the things that we can do at this airport, the search and rescue, life flight, um, 
helicopter repair stations, Cirrus repair stations, Cub repair stations, full paint and service center. We want to make sure that we have a home not only for general aviation, but for the entire public to circle around and be proud of. Everybody at Spanish Fork has been unbelievable. And I gotta tell you, this is when Spanish Fork as a city is gonna step up and show you what true partners we are gonna be to bring this airport and this new development to the project. Just watch what we do. And I gotta tell you, they have absolutely been unbelievable support and a great uh, asset to us in this project. So thank you, Spanish Fork City. All of you that came to support, uh, all of you who have bought hangers and are looking forward and are here because you have a spot on the field, thank you for joining us. Thank you ha for having faith in this group and this team to try and bring you a home for yourself, your plane, your family, a place to rest and relax. So thank you all for coming out in this freezing cold. We're going to do a couple pictures. We love you guys. We have a lot to do. So as you guys know, I say all the time, back to work. <laughs> All right, guys, so we went to the city and we said, we are worried about the investment of the people buying here. A lot of these airports are 10 and 15 year leases. And we told the city, we're not building sheds. We're not building metal buildings along a row of weeds. We want to build something special, unique. This is when the city stepped up and showed us who they really are. And they gave us a 50 year lease. As far as I know, that is one of, if not the greatest protected asset airport in the country. Guys, we are so excited that we have not only broken ground, but we have moved hundreds of loads of dirt. Big equipment going crazy everywhere, breaking ground on the friendliest airport in the country, general aviation specific. The hangars are selling out so fast. So thank all of you that are around the area and those all over the country that are buying a hangar to come play in the Utah back country and see some of the beautiful sights of Utah. We appreciate you joining our family. There are a few hangers left, but they're running out fast. So we do have small to large. There's a lot left to choose from, but they are going fast. So please call Brad right now before you call and we say, we're sorry, we're out. But uh, Brad can be reached. I'll put the number on the screen. He'll help you out, put a deposit, lock in, and let me build you the funnest, greatest place to fly airplanes out of.